More than 20 million people watched at least some of the TV debates last time, so you would have thought political leaders at an election would be desperate to reach that sort of audience. But it's not that simple. David Cameron saying he'll only do this again if the Green Party is included. Today, Ed Miliband said that's just a way to try and get out of it. Now, we all understand that as long ago as last Thursday, his abiding passion was to give the Green Party a platform, but it is frankly a pathetic excuse. It, it, now, is he really telling? Is he really telling the people of Britain that he's going to seek to deny them the TV debate if he doesn't get to choose who's in them? We had a set of European elections this year, and UKIP and the Greens both beat the Liberal Democrats, I'm afraid to say. And you either have. Uh, it's very simple. You either have both of them or you have none of them. So let me ask him again why is he so chicken when it comes to the Greens? Ah, the chicken. We've been here before, back in 1997. The Conservatives sent a chicken to try and shame Tony Blair into taking part in the debate. This time it hasn't got that bad yet, but the leaders of Labour, the Liberal Democrats and UKIP have sent identical letters to David Cameron, saying that the three party leaders who've committed to participate will ask the broadcasters to press ahead with the debates and provide an empty podium should you have a last minute change of heart. I think the public overwhelmingly will say there are three party leaders prepared to play the game. Um, come on, the fourth, what are you going to do, chicken or not? The Greens suspect David Cameron is using them as an excuse, but say that doesn't change the fact they should be included. Let us, but all of us, put our, our, our pressure on, on the broadcasters to make sure that they do include the Greens so that we don't have an empty chair for David Cameron, which I think would be, a, 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 you know, as I say, a great disservice to the public. It looked as if they were here to stay, but right now the future of the TV debates hangs in the balance.